Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance, and this is a Lorraine 15551, the tier 8 French SPG, and we're on the defending spawn of Karelia, and this is an assault battle. So, battle's about to get underway, and the name of the player is Tonisha. I'd almost forgotten that for a second. <laughs> I do apologise. Okay, they're off. And Tonish is using her speed to get her into the back area as quickly as possible. Or him, I should say. So I don't know if it's a lady or not. And this is surprising because they're not actually um, moving into the far back area. They're actually moving just up on top of the hill. Now they would be in clear view of the enemy. And he's got a GW Panther as his teammate, his fellow SPG partner. And he's going into the back area, but Tonish is staying out front. Now, if the enemy were to get a, somebody up uh, close, he could be spotted very quickly. But the Black Dog, a girlfriend, as many know, is actually making a quick run down the front. And he's come up, and yes, there's a WZ120. Rounds out. Direct hit! 221 hit points and two critical hits and Tonish is moving backwards to avoid counter battery as we see another round going in against that WZ120. The girlfriend immediately popped back down to the cliff edge obviously to protect themselves and a Batchat 12 ton has made his way all the way to the southern area. Tonish fired around him but I think it missed so He's just relocating a little. I don't have to move too much, but... Okay, the black boat has gone back up onto the cliff edge, and there is a target there, but Tonshas realises there's some far more pressing ones. But in fact, actually, the, the enemy Lorraine 15551 has been spotted on the horseshoe, and the black dog is after them. Now, that round missed. The intended target was the MXM445. Going back to it. Or was it the Wizzy 111 he was after? The Black Dog seems to be chasing that 155 down, but the, the Black Jack 12 tons coming to his defense. We've got a shot there in on the Wizzy 111. And picking up some track assistance, uh, damage assistance, and stun assistance. And unfortunately, they've lost the uh, black dog. He was taken out. Uh, both rounds have gone in. Now, he did pick up, he did stun the Oni because he picked up some stun assistance. Not very much, but that tends to indicate that the GW Panther shot was not so far away from the Oni and that, uh, that Tonisha may have stunned that Oni. Yep, there's a tortoise and the tiger bee there. It's going for the AMXM 445 and it hits the rock face. Lots of shots going in on Tiger P, Tortoise, I think it's an Oni as well there, Tiger, Tiger R. Was that the name Tiger R? I think it was the name. But there's lots of enemy tanks in that little area looking through trying to take shots. Bit of a mistake to do that because it does really give them away. I think there's another a tree fell just to the right of the uh, rescue at the moment, and that tends to make me indicate that uh, yep, there's a tiger P sitting there. <laughs> he knocked the tree down, gave his position away. Um, you can see the Oni and the tortoise now. Well, the tortoise would make a nicer target, but uh, let's see which one he goes for. It is the tortoise he's going for, and it's a near splash. 187, that's quite a good shot. The enemy are making good ground on the south. This is a bit of a problem. I'm not sure if he spotted that, but um, an IS-3 has gone down to help the Leopard prototype. There's a Centurion in the dip. A T-25-2 tank destroyer is joining them. And as that round goes in and stuns three of the enemy, and he's picking up some stun assists from the shot from the GW Panther. But the problem is that now they've lost another tank in the south. 
In fact, they've lost another one defending the cap. So it looks like the enemy is making ground on the south. There's a Lurva and a Centurion 1. And Tonisha may need to think about relocating. Okay, yeah, so that is a direct strike on the Oni. Definitely hit. 261 stun assist on top of the 321 damage caused by the strike. Tiger P now. Is the one he's looking at or is he looking at trying to gain all three at the same time? I do think he's actually aiming these shells. That one was aimed at the Taurus. And it was a direct hit. But it did actually damage both the Oni and the Tortoise. He did more damage to the Oni, funnily enough. But he's spotted that there's a problem in the south and he's relocating at last. In fact, most of their forces are actually now grouped in the A and B rows on this map. Or A and B lines, you might say. And that round goes in and takes out the tortoise. Wiped out. Now, the, both the uh, GW Panther, he had to bash into the rock to get across. He's going back to defend the southern uh, approach. And there's that batch at 12 ton. He's been spotted, so he needs to use his speed. He needs to use his speed to escape and evade, but he's going to go behind that rock for the moment because they haven't cleared out all the ones up on the north east corner yet. And he's trying to see if he can put a round into some of these uh, attackers to slow them down a little. There's the Centurion. He's just taking a shot, so he's falling back to reload. He might pull forward any second to take another shot. Somebody's in the cap. I think that's probably the Bat Chat 12 ton. It could be the Lover, I don't know. And the shot goes in, takes out the AMX M445. Now will be a good time for Tonisher to head east as quickly as he can, get up onto the northeast corner and fire back at the cap, using his own team to spot for him. Yes, it's the Lover that's in the cap, not the uh, Bat Chat 12 ton. Now he can't fire at the Lurva because it's behind a rock face, but there's only one in the cap. It's three minutes to go. And the cap's just been reset. So it's now going to take one minute 33 if there's only one. There's the 12 ton. So he's not where he was originally thought to be on the uh, near side of the, uh, to the, the rain. And he gets a lovely 158 hit point near miss there, splash on the 12 ton. That's forced him to back off. But they're still capping. And they need to get another reset. 2 minutes 28 seconds to go. They're very aggressive thrust in the south. And the, I'm surprised that none of them really noticed this while it was actually going on. It was it was there on the minimap. Not many people pay attention to the minimap except party people and those who use it on a regular basis. That T55 Got a nice hit, 279, and he's backing off. I think, happy. I think he realizes that he could be a one shot kill for uh, some of these knights. Uh, the ST1's gone in to get another reset. And there's a round on the Centurion, but it misses, it overshoots. And that 12 tons come back again. And he's got a healthy load of uh, hit points, so, uh, so he could actually be quite a danger. The ST1's doing his best to keep resetting the cap. They now got to the point where the amount of time left in the battle equals the amount of time left remaining to cap the game. And he fires around in there on the Centurion and gets a direct hit. 211 hit points. That was a good strike. Okay. Tonish is doing an exceptional amount of work here. He's not changing his position at all, but he is in grave danger because that T-55 is actually coming at him from the west, and he's noticed this now. He's noticed it, and he needs to run. He needs to get into that northeast corner as quickly as he can so he can fire back. Over that, or to turn right and go behind those rocks so he can't be seen. But the enemy's after, and they're going to go for the GW Panther first. There's only 47 seconds left on the clock, and no one's capping. So they have to kill all, and he's the last man alive on his in his uh, in his group. And there's the Lorraine. Now, can he shotgun that Lorraine? And he does. 340 hit points. He takes him out. That's the last of the enemy that can 
possibly uh, catch him, I think, as the 12 tons coming up behind him. But he's just too far away. And now the Lorraine's got up speed and is going downhill. One of the fastest Artis in the game is running for his life. And the enemy have suddenly realised they can't cap out. It's too late. They've left it too long. They have to kill all and they can't catch him. He's running for it. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And he's got a collar ban off. He's won. He's just been spotted at the last possible second. He was spotted. Um, it may have been the other arty who spotted him. I'm not sure. Um, but yes, that's the end of the replay. Can't see the bat chat 12 ton behind him. Okay, let's have a look at the end of battle results. It's a first class tank for Tonisha, the Lorraine 155 milli 51. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 15, which showed how hard he was working. He also picked up the medal that everyone would like to get, the Collar Banoff medal for standing alone against five or more of the enemy and surviving to win the battle. Uh, so well done, Tonisha. You you used your assets. You used the speed of the Lorraines, the, the fast moving French RT to get out of the area as quickly as possible, prevent the enemy from killing all. And you left them with no time to uh, complete the cap because you kept on hitting at them and the rest of your team kept resetting the cap as well. So well done indeed. That definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And uh, it was very enjoyable to watch. Let's have a look at the uh, the scores. You got third and damage, 2,703 hit points. You came joint second when it, well, not joint second, second when it came to kills with two. The ST1 and the Rhyme Metal um, Scorpion got the, uh, got their one more than you. Um, but you also managed to pick up second place for base XP of 1,100, which is very good. Now, the ST1 did get a higher score, but that's because he kept on going in and getting more resets. And you can see the amount of damage he did was considerable. Um, he was really having a go at that Lurva whilst it was capping. Um, if we look at the detailed report, you fired 18 rounds, got six direct hits, six penetration, 14 splash. Shows how hard you were working. Damage of 2,703 hit points, of which 2,363 were at more than 300 meters. Obviously, the closest one was the Lorraine, which you shotgunned at very close range. You hit nine of the enemy, killed two of them. You also did damage assistance of 899 and stun assistance of 1,757, caused by 18 stuns. 18, that's a very high number. That means that it's more than likely that uh, each of your shots was stunning more than one target uh, or at least one of the targets. So because I'm not sure if you missed a couple of the shots, but um, you certainly got some good stuns in there. On a premium account, you earned 52,031 credits, but your ammunition resupply was very hefty, 52,800. And you had premium consumables as well. Uh, so you actually ended up with a deficit of 20,769 credits. You earned XP of 1,650, uh, but it was times three for the first victory of the day. So you walked away with uh, 4,950 experience points in total, which is a very good total in anyone's book indeed. So well done indeed. So thank you very much indeed for uh, posting that replay on What Replays. And I'm sure that uh, uh, all the other uh, Kolobanov RT winners will congratulate you for joining their club. Um, because you've uh, you certainly displayed you've got what it takes when the chips are down. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out. And hopefully your replay will be in the next video.